A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. Chapter 6, verses 7 to 13. Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey but a walking stick. No food, no sack, no money in their belts. They were, however, to wear sandals, but not a second tunic. He said to them, Wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave. Whatever place does not welcome you or listen to you, leave there and shake the dust of your feet in testimony against them. So they went off and preached repentance. The twelve drew out many demons, and they anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. The Gospel passage pauses on the style of the missionary, which we can sum up in two points. The mission as a center, the mission as a face. First of all, the missionary disciple has a center of reference, who is Jesus himself. The narrative indicates this by using a series of verbs which have him as the subject. He called to him. He began to send them. He gave them authority. He charged them. He said to them. So that the going out and working of the twelve appears to be radiating from a center, reaffirming the presence and work of Jesus in their missionary actions. This demonstrates that the apostles have nothing of their own to proclaim, nor any abilities to manifest, but rather that they speak and act as emissaries, as messengers of Jesus. This episode of the Gospel also applies to us, and not only to priests, but to all baptized people called to witness to the Gospel of Christ in the various spheres of life. And for us too, this mission is authentic only in so far as its unchanging center who is Jesus. It's not an initiative of faithful individuals, nor of groups, and not even of large gatherings. It is the mission of the Church, inseparably united to our Lord. No Christian proclaims the Gospel on his or her own but is only sent by the Church, who received the mandate from Jesus Himself. The second characteristic of the missionary style is, so to speak, a face, which consists in the poverty of means. This accoutrement responds to a criteria of modesty. The teacher wants them to be free and unhampered, without reserves and without favors certain only of the love of the one who sends them, strengthened only by his word, which they go to proclaim. 